All right, so boom, you know every single year we have to have a conversation as we enter from spring into summer regarding cleanliness and hygiene because evidently people don't want to go outside and wear deodorant. However, I just so happen to be scrolling on Twitter, X, whatever the case you want to call it, and I saw retired center Jason Kelsey, prior center for the Philadelphia Eagles, brother of Travis Kelsey, who just so happens to be a Swifty, but he was going viral talking about, well, he doesn't wash his feet. So I said, I beg your pardon. And I further looked into said tweets and he retweeted a post where they were talking about hot zones. Now, I think everybody who's ever taken a shower, which should be everybody, understands there are five crucial spots on the body that must be washed. First being the face, second, the underarm, third, your crotch area, fourth, your butt, and fifth would be the feet. But evidently, there's a large growing contingent of individuals who just so happen to believe I don't need to wash my feet. Hold on, wait a minute. Time out, okay? Because here's my thing. If you were somebody who walk outside with unwashed feet, that's one thing. But for you to now publicly, boastfully, Share this with the populace. You're trying to galvanize individuals to feel as if they don't need to wash their feet. And I have a problem with that because I must walk amongst you outside in nature. And I will not be walking side by side with somebody who feet funky. I saw people making cases talking about, well, you know, in the olden days, people didn't have shut. What are you talking about the olden days? We're in the current day. We in the current day. What about the people who grew up on the safari? What about the people in the junk? Why don't you go live over there? Go surround yourself around tribes who carry meat of murdered animals that they must now consume because they are hunting to survive. Why don't you go live with them individuals rather than walk around civilization where motherfuckers have access to showers and soap, but you unwilling to utilize it. Let me tell you something. There's a message directly to Jason Kelsey. If I happen to see you in public, at any particular point, I will have to pull you to the side and we're going to have a, have a conversation. Because what you're talking about, you don't wash your feet. Furthermore, there's already been a number of people who talked about, well, you know, I just wash my hot spots and then I don't really scrub my body. People like Channing Crowder, who talk about you just let the, the water run. You don't even apply no doggone soap. He may be adding a little bit of levity in the midst of his podcast on the Pivot. Shout out to them. They're doing amazing things. Freddie Chan, or I should say uh, Fred Taylor, and also um, with Ryan Clark. They're doing magnificent things over there. But I have an issue with people publicly sharing that they do not shower properly, okay? Ain't no reason why you should publicly be putting out there that you're not scrubbing your doggone body. That's dirty. That's nasty. You got people who literally probably listen to everything that they hear and all of a sudden apply that to their life. You work in construction. You work in dealing with cement all doggone day. Come home dirty. Garbage men that just so happen to be outside. Well, I saw Jason Kelsey say, I don't need to wash my feet. In fact, I'll just scrub four of the five hot zones and let the water run. You stink. What the fuck is that smell? We need to have these people dealt with. All right. There's no reason why you should be walking outside unwashed and unwilling to wash your doggone body. That makes no sense. I saw people posting studies talking about, well, you know, excessive use of soap can end up taking some of the necessary chemicals or, and, and, and things with, from within your body that you need to be able to function. What are you talking about? These are extreme situations. If somebody who goes into the shower and they spend four hours scrubbing, of course something's going to go wrong with you. But why are you taking that long to shower anyway? These are deranged individuals. But you mean to tell me you out here in public talking about you ain't washing your feet, your feet funky. What the fuck is that smell? You're funky. I'm telling you right now, last year and the years prior, I constantly had to talk about people applying deodorant to their underarms when walking outside during the summer. Every single year, it's gotten hotter and hotter and hotter. And you mean to tell me we've reached a higher level of villain from people who walk out with crazy doggone underarms stank to now we're going to have to deal with people who got bad underarms, then people who got bad body odor, and to put on top of that the final form, people who got funky feet, what's happening bro, people need to be executed, y'all being ISIS of the cleanliness and I will not stand for this, I am starting a coup right now, first person that you come across their feet stinker and everybody can smell it, they must be put down on the spot, maybe not so much executed, 
but they should be beaten, bludgeoned. Where they stand or sit, you will catch a lead pipe across the back of the head. There is no reason why you should boastfully be outside talking about you ain't washing your dog on feet. I got issues with it. I got issues with it. And this is directly to the white community. Listen, you guys have caught flack in the past, but what has been the stigma? People been saying over here, you smell like wet dog. I don't believe that to be the case. I believe some of y'all guys happen to be out there smelling well. So the ladies smell well. Don't let people like Jason Kelsey bring this dogma upon your people. You need to exile the, the dirty feet individuals. Stand up for your race. Stand up for your people. Because I'm telling you something right now, Negroes, we will not have it. The stinky of us are in the community get exiled every single time. I've been at Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. I've seen the brothers who look like they basement dwellers who don't put no doggone deodorant underneath their underarms, they body odor crazy, butt cracks on display and stinky feet. They get jumped, ridiculed, bullied, all of the different sort of things for their lack of cleanliness. So I'm telling you right now, all you stinky motherfuckers will be dealt with expeditiously. <laughs> For what? Don't be walking out here with dirty ass goddamn bodies and feet. Clean yourself. Wash yourself. Living in America. Use the washcloth. Don't just, oh, I'm just gonna use my hand. Grab a washcloth. Scrub your dog on body. Get a back scratcher. Utilize a back scratcher and scrub your back. Middle of people's back be dirty up this motherfucker. Clean yourselves. There's no reason why we should have this conversation. We're adults. I would understand if there were toddlers who had access to the internet somehow having this combo. But it's grown adults with children. You got a life insurance policy. You talk about you don't wash your feet. What? What? You lucky I don't summon Chris Benoit because even him having been deceased 17 years probably smell better than some of these motherfuckers who are out here. You taxpayers, you're not using soap? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? I'm getting gray hairs about this shit. I went to sleep, hair black. Woke up after I read through Twitter, hair showing up gray. I've aged four years. AARP is sending me mail. Social security is getting ready to be collected. IRA is getting ready to be cashed out because I'm aging at an accelerated rate. Because you motherfuckers don't want to be clean. So again, this is a PSA, APB, to the individuals who just so happen to step outside with stinky feet. Count your days. You've got a limited amount of summers that remain. Because we're going to weed all of you out, one by one, and you will be brought to justice expeditiously. And you won't get another opportunity to go viral with this dogma. Clean your motherfucking feet, dirty bastards.